All right, I just wanted to make a video on how I model up a turbo manifold Fusion 360. I went and took just a stock manifold. I had it 3D scanned. And this is more of just for example. This isn't really so specific on the model or how everything's gonna be laid out. You, This is a demonstration of the application. If you have a cert, if you have access to a 3D scanner, you can try this yourself. You can have your whole bay scanned out, however you wanna do it, and then take the same concept and use it yourself with whatever make or model that you're trying to replicate. Um, basically just dem demonstrating the concept with this um, and how I do it. So right out the gate, we have our, our flanges and these are all the ones that were scanned out and then I obviously made this merge collector up here in Fusion. Um, and we basically have a replication of a long radius to a uh, manifold elbow, short radius, and then a piece of straight tube. And what I'll do is I'm scoping out my runners is I'll just take, you know, a move copy. I'll usually go point to point right off the inside of this circle. Make the selection first and then origin point right there in the middle. And I'll just be going to wherever I'm at within the man, you know, within the design. So boom, scope it over to here. You just click that circle, that face. I'll create a copy. I'll click OK. And then I'll go to modify, align, and then basically we're just trying to find that face and then align it to the face that it needs to match up with, mate with. Sometimes we'll do that, you hit flip. Once we have our straight tube, we can just go right off this face and I'll hit the Q, a key on my keyboard and then offsets, just like that. And I can actually still offset without losing my chamfer. I'm gonna rotate off the axis of this mating elbow. There we go. Sometimes it's tricky like that. But now, I can already see that it will also need another cut this way. So we'll just see how much we need to turn it to shoot it straight. And we can see that five degrees pretty much gets us perfect. So I'm gonna go with the straight tube with the five degree offset. And that'll shoot our runner pretty much right to where it needs to go. But like I was, I was saying, the non-concentricity thing, that's how minimal it is with a five degree cut. But you, as you can see, even though it's moved directly to the center, it's, it's fit up exactly as good as it can get. We still have that lip there. But when we go in there and actually weld it up, it's just gonna push it all through and make it all even anyways. I'm gonna rotate, I'm gonna make another copy. See, this is the other thing that I'll often do in the design. If I have multiple elbows in a row, I'll go to create copy, I'll go to rotate, just click the tube itself. And you can see how we just pull another tube right on, another elbow right on out like that. We'll go to modify, split body. So we'll select our splitting tool feature. We'll turn this guy off so that we can get in here and we'll select the, our mating face of our joint. And that's right where we're gonna make our cut on that piece. Like we can see this two piece assembly of these elbows that there's a 26 degree rotational variance of these two elbows. So that's where our jigs come into play. We would just make the mark at the 15 degree angle, take this elbow out, insert the new elbow, then you would make a, a mark right at your 90 degrees, line the, the two sharpie marks up. But there's our, our 30 degree rotational replication. The other thing that you can also do is you can just set, once you have your mating elbow set to zero, you can just take your angle finder, lay it on top of the elbow, and then just set it to whatever angle you need, and then just draw your sharpie line in between the two pieces. But like I said, it's just a, it's just a process of point to point moves, using the align command, and then rotating off of elbows on different radiuses, just like you would do if you're making a manifold by hand in person. Because each one of these elbows, each one of these elbows represents exactly the pieces that we buy on Ace Race. That's where I get all my manifold material, whether I'm using a 321, but we've, we've, we've mocked up all their measurements to match that exactly. Well, I'm kind of just eyeball, so you stay in the middle where it's concentric, but being that it's going into the port, Go up like two degrees, it's too low-ish. It's close. I'd say it's actually getting pretty close. We just need to go over that way. And then I'm gonna rotate this elbow around and see if I can get it to line up a little bit better. Uh, I think we're gonna be pretty, pretty much on point there. I'd say that's our first runner right there. 
And that's the same process we run for the entirety of each runner. It's just a, a it's just an ongoing process of moving bodies point to point, aligning those bodies off those faces, and then just kind of playing with it until it all lines up. So I think overall, I'm pretty happy with this design. This runner here was probably, well not probably, this was definitely the most tricky runner. And I had a lot of back and forth thinking about if I should run this runner over the top or if I should run this one over the top. And I might still play with it, but for right now, I think this is where I'm at. And that's really the beauty of having a program like this is that it allows me to see the final result before we actually go and start cutting material or anything. I think I'll probably change these maybe like a the tight radius mandrel just because this runner is so much shorter than this one easier option as opposed to trying to get this one longer maybe I'll just try to get this one shorter and get it in here quicker which one do you guys to see how, how really it's not that actually too difficult of a platform to really learn so yeah anyways guys just uh, thanks for watching I, I hope this video helps you guys out just like subscribe all that good stuff and I'm just gonna try to keep posting uh, good content. I'm trying to find really ways to make something useful. I'm trying to push myself first and foremost and I want to actually offer something that maybe can help somebody out. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. Um, if it did, just drop a comment. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Maybe some design iterations or any ideas. Just drop a comment, like, subscribe. Thank you for watching. <laughs>